Hey guys, what is up? What is up? How are y'all doing? I am doing good, real good. Uh, I know I've been kind of absent. I've, uh, you know, put up some filler videos, which are fun, right? And it's not that the filler videos are bad. It's just that it's not really what this channel is about. Um, but I'm finally getting started with a new project. And now I do have some, some old projects that are like half done that I've kind of lost interest in. And I'm going to get back to those. Uh, I got some pretty cool stuff started actually, but uh, I want to do something new. Uh, Matchbox just recently announced a custom contest and I don't have any Matchbox cars uh, in process right now. So I need to start a Matchbox car and I've been wanting to do a gasser. So I think what I'm going to do is a gasser using a matchbox casting. So I've been giving it some thought as far as what casting to use for this project. And I think I've come down to this casting right here. Uh, this is a brand new car from matchbox and this is the Mercedes Benz W one, two, three wagon. And uh, this is a really cool casting for starters. It's a vintage car and I think gassers are best as vintage cars. Also, this is kind of a car you don't associate with, uh, you know, like a drag car, let alone a gasser. So I think this would be pretty cool uh, for this project. The casting isn't without problems. Uh, let's go ahead and crack it open. So here's the car. This car has uh, a, the bumper and grill and the lights are built into the base as well as the base provides this, uh, this sort of color break right here and the back, you know, the back uh, and the back bumper. And so the plans I have for this car, those features might cause some problems. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it works out well, whenever I start to get into it a little bit further. And, but other than that, this casting is, it's just so cool. And I don't know if you can see in there, I'll crack this open in a second. The interior is highly, highly detailed. I love it when they take the extra time to detail the interior like this one. And uh, it's just, you know, this has just got that vintage look to it. And I think it's gonna make a pretty cool little car. Uh, I actually have, I got a couple of these. Um, it's going to take, let's see, let me get this out here. It's going to take a couple uh, to do what I want to do. Uh, I also have uh, a couple of these uh, diaper draggers, which I want to use uh, possibly at least, no, no guarantee, possibly use the, uh, the motor out of those. And I also have this truck right here I found at a Savers. I need to go ahead and break these two cars down and get them stripped. So uh, let's, uh, let's do that. Tell you one thing is that taking your time when you're when you're uh, putting on your stripper is really important because uh, it's if you get in a hurry with this you're just going to end up missing some spots and then you have to strip the damn car again so just take your time make sure you hit everything uh, i like to get both sides you know inside and outside Okay, so uh, these have sat for about a day. I didn't, wasn't able to get to these last night, but I'm gonna get to them now. And you can see they look uh, ready to go. Paint's ready to fall off. So 
So let's scrape that off. Okay, uh, let's do the next one. That first one came out really well. Let's see it. I don't see any paint left on there. So let's get this one cleaned off. Take this to the sink, get it cleaned off, and we'll uh, move on to the next step. Okay, so I got that guy all cleaned off, and it looks pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm telling you, the longer you leave the uh, the stripper on the on the model cooking in a in a container, the better it's going to come off. I mean, I, I don't see a speck anywhere. And this is also one of my favorite parts of a project. It's when you just have a model stripped and you can really, really take a look at the details that the designers uh, went through the trouble of putting into the casting. And I wouldn't say that this is blowing me away with details, but uh, what makes this, mo this particular model special is its accuracy. And it just has everything it needs. So it is now time for me to take the next step. And this, this is not going to be for the faint of heart. Um, so my idea here with this gasser is that I want to make a opening hood. And to do that, I'm going to have to cut these cars in half. And I don't think I can do one car and just cut it and you know, use the hood that I cut off. I'm going to have to cut the hood off one, file back the, the stubs to get a nice even uh, line, and then I'm going to have to take the other one, cut the front end off, and then file that back. So this is going to be a lot of work. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, it's going to be a lot of work. So... <laughs> If, uh, if you're one of those guys who just cannot stand these cars to get cut up, just turn the video off because <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear these apart. Okay, let me, uh, let me get started with that. Okay, so I've got this set up and ready to cut this hood off. And it's going to take two cars, like I said, because I need to cut this off in a way that allows me space that I can file it back. Uh, so I can fit the hood to the to the body. There's no way I'm going to be able to cut it so fine that I can mate, you know, the the hood I cut off back to the body. It's just not going to happen. So anyway, we're going to kind of roughly cut this something like along here, maybe a little something like that, and then I'm just going to just cut it like this and I'll file back like I said I'll file back to, uh, to my final uh, my final piece Here's the piece that we cut off. <clears throat> um, it's not too terribly hot. Boy, that's where we're at right now. Uh, here's my hood. I've got the hood mostly cut and filed. You can see. but that's going to have to be fit to this. So that's done, and now the hard part begins, and uh, let's just start filing this back. Hmm. Yeah, I've been working on this for a little bit, and I made a little bit of headway. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell from that angle. Let me...
It's actually surprising how fast you can work this with the file. And so I've got that moving back right now. And so I'm just gonna continue, continue filing this. <laughs> Having the camera set up is a kind of a pain. So my technique isn't the best due to the camera and light in the way, but I'm trying my best here. Some good progress here. Uh, I want to flatten this. This angle isn't good, but uh, I've I've filed back to that body line, and at this point, uh, I just need to just kind of massage this a little bit more. But we're getting there. Now I'm going to do this off camera because this is going to take a little bit more concentration. Because at this point, I can easily really mess this up, and I almost messed it up already by over filing because I can't really see that well. Uh, with this uh, situation so uh, let me do that and then I'll be right back and I'll show you what what I what I did <clears throat> so here's where I'm at and you can see I got this gap pretty good on this side now my other side the gap isn't quite as good but it's still pretty good now part of the reason for the gap is this base is a little wonky due to the wheels that got bent whenever I took the car apart but I think it's a good start. We're moving in the right direction. Uh, this was definitely the most finicky part of, of this build. So I'm glad that I've got this mostly done. Now I might actually widen this gap a little bit because I need some space for the paint to fit in. But, uh, but yeah, I think we're moving right along. But the next step is gonna be pretty, uh, well, it's, it's probably gonna be a little time consuming and finicky also, but it's not so much I can't, if I screw it up, I'll have to start all over again. Uh, but what I wanna do is I want to make some suspension for the, uh, for the front end. I'm gonna use my 3D printer for that. So uh, I'm gonna do that in the next video, I think, because uh, I need to think on how I'm gonna accomplish this. Uh, it's, it's, I don't think it's gonna to be too difficult. I have an idea, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the next step. You know, stick with me. Uh, this project's going to be moving. I hope I can get it done before the 22nd. I think it's going to be a cool car. I got some ideas for the paint, which I think is going to be pretty neat. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so anyway, so far so good. Uh, this car's moving along. And, guys, thanks for watching. I know this particular project is not going to be a quick one. I'm not going to have it done in two parts. But uh, hopefully it's worth it. Guys, I'll catch you next time. And please, please. Take care of yourself, all right? See you later.